Today we're going to learn about how to find slope of a line using two coordinate points. Well, the first thing we need to figure out um, in finding slope is that we need to memorize our formula for slope. So um, up here it's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to outline this. So the slope equals, this is the formula you need to remember, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so that means the top number will equal your rise, the bottom number will equal your run. run. Remember, if you kind of if you see these symbols, delta symbol y, delta symbol x, remember our delta sign means the change. So this means the change in y, and this means the change in x. And that's just what slope is. What is the change in y and the change in x? So all you need to remember is this formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So once we have this formula, these are the steps we're going to take. Take the given points and substitute them into the formula above. We've done that before. We're just substituting those variables, numbers in for the variables. Number two, complete the computation. And then number three, check the slope by graphing the line if needed. So let's begin. If we are given one, two, points 1, 2, and points 2, and point 0.25, we need to figure out our slope. So we're going to use this formula given y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. If you want to label your point, you can. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. So we need to substitute this in. So our slope equals y2 minus y1, so y2 minus y1, 5 minus 2, x2 minus x1, which is 2 minus 1. We're going to figure, complete the computation, so 5 minus 2 is 3, 2 minus 1 is 1, so our slope is 3 over 1, or you can say 3. Sometimes it's um, simpler to put it over 1, so you can see that it, um, you do have to go over 1, um, run 1, because this would be your rise, and this is your run. So you can keep it 3 over 1, or you can keep it just 3. Let's check our lines. So we have points two, 1, 2, and 2, 5. So we're going to plot this. So point 1, 2, start at 0 here. We're going to go over 1, up 2. And then we're going to go over 2, up 5. So here's our line. Not a very good line drawer. Okay, now to check your slope, uh, remember you need to go up, up 3 over 1 because our slope is 3 over 1, which is rise over run. So we're going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1. So this is correct. If we are given the points 1, 2, and 4, 3, again, we're going to use our formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to label my points just so I don't get confused. This can also be x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 if you want. So either one is fine. It doesn't matter what order the points are in. Um, it just matters that you follow consistently um, the x2 and y2, y1, and x1. So we're going to substitute these variables in. So we have slope equals y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1. So 3 minus 2 over x2 minus x1, so 4 minus 1. Then we finish the computation. 3 minus 2 is 1, 4 minus 1 is 3, so our slope is 1 over 3. 
Remember our 1 is our rise, our 3 is our run. So let's graph it to make sure that's correct. So we have points 1, 2, over 1, up 2. We're going to go over 4, up 3. And then here is our line. And then we're going to check, is our slope 1 over 3? We're going to go we're going to go rise 1 and one, run 3. So up 1 and 1, 2, 3. So this is correct. Let's try this one. This one has a negative sign. So we're going to go ahead and subst or label our points x1, y1, x2, y2. Slope equals y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, 3 minus, and I'm, you see I'm putting this in parentheses so I don't get confused. On your calculator you can put 3 minus, and then you're going to hit that negative sign, 1, which on your calculator it's at the bottom of your calculator, and it is labeled with It looks like this. Here's the button. It looks like this. And it's right next to the decimal point at the bottom of your calculator. So you would hit 3, regular minus sign, and then a negative sign 1. Remember, two positive or two negatives equal a positive. So 4 minus 2 is 2. 3 minus negative 1 is 4. Now, when you're looking at this fraction, this fraction needs reduced. It needs simplified. So we need to simplify this equation. So we need to reduce this fraction. Remember, um, in reducing fractions, you have to find a common factor for each number. And our common factor for um, 4 and 2 is 2. So we're going to divide both sides by 2 over 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So our slope is 1 half or 1 over 2. If you did this on your calculator it will reduce it for you so you would hit um, 2 and then the fraction sign 4 equals and it will give you 1 half. Remember the fraction bar looks like this A, B slash C and it is um, in the second column right under the PRB button. So um, this is very important. So you would put 2 fraction bar 4 equals and it will look like this on your screen. It'll give you one half. So your calculator will reduce those fractions for you. So you should get into the habit of reducing fractions or making sure that they are reduced until you're finished. So let's go ahead and graph these points and see if we're correct. Negative 1, 2. So negative 1, 2 and 3, 4 over 3 up 4. Here's our line. Okay. Now you see here that there is another point that crosses exactly the line right here. So if you are checking this here we have 2 fourths and we have 1 half. So if you did the 2 fourths up to over 4, you would get to this point here. But there is another point that crosses exactly in the middle of the line, so that is the 1 half. So you can go up 1 over 2, up 1, whoops, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. You see, if I did, if I went up 1 over, up 2 over 4, I would skip points. Um, so that's why we need to reduce our fraction. So if I went up 2 over 4, up 2 over 4, we would, we would have a point here, a point here, and a point here. But we're missing some points in the middle. We would be missing this point, and we'd be missing this point. And so that is why you have to reduce your fractions. That is very important. And remember, you can do that on your calculator by hitting the A, B, slash, C button.
it will look like this on your calculator. Hopefully this has um, helped you understand um, how to find slope using two points. Remember that your formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This is very important to remember. So if you um, have any more questions, you can go back through your lesson or watch the video again.